Marsha Blackburn, Senator, it's so great to have you on again. Thank you so much for coming on. Where do you come down on TikTok? Because a lot of teenagers and young adults are really mad about this. Liz, what, what we have said about TikTok is the ball is in their court. If they want to be in the American marketplace, they can separate themselves from ByteDance and the Chinese Communist Party. Right now, as TikTok is configured and through their relationships and because of China's national security law, which requires companies to share their data, TikTok has to give that over and the Chinese Communist Party thereby has access to all of your data. And TikTok we, is used as a soft propaganda tool by the Chinese Communist Party once they are in your phone. Once you have that app on your phone, on your computer, they have access to everything. They know where you go, what your relationships are, uh, how you use uh, different apps. They have all of this information because TikTok is embedded with spyware. That's the problem. So if TikTok wants to be in this marketplace, separate yourself from the Chinese Communist Party. Reconfigure your algorithms. Put yourself on a different foundation so that you're not exercising spyware. Okay, so we know that 34 states ban it for state workers. Yeah. India, India banned it. Britain, Canada, Australia, France banned it from official devices. So we think the controversy is China built it to be purposely addictive so people stay on it longer so they could harvest right. personal info from users like even location data. But, you know, young people say, we know that our data is already shared with everybody. We don't care. And that is very dangerous because what the Chinese Communist Party is doing is storing this data in Beijing. And they are building a virtual you of every one of their users. We don't want them to have access to our, to our kids. And look at how TikTok weaponized their platform last week, having people call their member of Congress and say, vote against this. If they went through a huge campaign, you could click on to the, the button there. They would connect you with your member of Congress. I mean, this is how intrusive they are. They have your location data. They could put you into your member of Congress. I think TikTok ended up making the point for Congress that this is a definitely a dangerous app that could end up being weaponized in many different situations, and it is all controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. What's the worst case scenario there then? We know that, you know, TikTok was putting up anti-Israel images and yes. content to sway young voters, but what's the worst case scenario for people who use it? We don't know what the worst case scenario will be. What we do know, as you said, what they did after October 7th, we know how they used their own platform this week to go after the U.S. House of Representatives, and they were flooded with calls. But think about what could happen in times of a national emergency or things that could happen during an election season. And the problem is it's controlled okay. by the Chinese Communist Party. Got it. Senator Blackburn, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. Let's Thank get you. right to this.